Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with AWS Lambda and VPC configurations. Our viewer has a question about invoking a Lambda function that times out after adding VPC settings. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. When you add a VPC configuration to your Lambda function, it changes how the function interacts with other resources. Let's explore why this might cause a timeout error. In your case, the Lambda function was initially able to access the MongoDB instance using a public IP. However, once you added the VPC configuration, the function is now running within a private subnet. To resolve the timeout issue, ensure that your Lambda function has the necessary permissions and network access to reach the MongoDB instance. This typically involves configuring a NAT gateway or ensuring that the MongoDB instance is within the same VPC. Lastly, remember to verify your security group settings. The security group associated with your Lambda function must allow outbound traffic to the MongoDB instance's port, usually port 27017. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Attaching your Lambda function to a VPC is essential for secure database traffic. It ensures a private network connection, which is faster and more secure than using the internet. Now that your Lambda has an elastic network interface, remember to connect to the private IP of your MongoDB instance within the VPC. Ensure your security groups allow communication between the Lambda and the EC2 instance, and check that the networks are routable. API Gateway can still interact with your VPC-attached Lambda functions, allowing for seamless responses. For a serverless solution, follow the single responsibility principle. Use a controller function to manage requests and coordinate child functions. Implement a crossover pattern where a VPC-connected Lambda handles communication with VPC resources, keeping your serverless app efficient. This approach allows your serverless app to interact with both AWS services and external resources effectively. And that's it, I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.